on. Okay, it's live now. I do know. I put you on my chair. Don't know how this is gonna hold. But... I'm just gonna make you laugh on both. Mhm. Fudge. <laughs> 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 You know, I will just hold you to the phone to be honest to the camera. Okay, hello, hello. Welcome people in your life. Why is it repeating? No. Because you're on FaceTime in it and you're showing. All right, guys. Um, let's just wait for some people to come in. Let's just wait for like two people to come on. Okay. So let's just wait like for like oh dear, like one more person to come now. So, um, all right, we've got like three people. Hi, guys. Okay, I've got my friend here, Michelle, and today we're going to be talking about our boarding experience in Nigeria. Um, so, Michelle, introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Why you... Sorry, what? <laughs> Please, I have so many other options, you know. Okay, uh, well, we actually, I don't know if we went to um, the same high school for. I was, I started the high, I went to primary school, but I was also in the high school from GS1 to GS3, and then in GS3, that's when. It, uh, Olive joined. For those of you who don't know what GS3 is, GS3 is um, grade, I think, grade 6 or 9. No, GS3 yeah, is grade 9. Grade nine. Yes. GS3 is grade 9. Yeah, GS3 is grade 9. So Olive came in grade 9, mm -hmm. equivalent to our GS3. Mm -hmm. So, well, prior to that, I. We were going, but uh, yeah, we're both in boarding school. But prior to that, um, I already started. I already gone to a different secondary school called Hello. Nigerian Navy Secondary School. So I went to three different secondary schools actually. So from grade seven to secondary school, from grade nine to grade 11, I went to a different secondary school. And from grade 11 to grade 12, I went to a different secondary school. So basically three different secondary schools in the, in the span of six years. And I spent, two years each in all of them. So I pretty much have like, um, yeah. I pretty much have experience when it comes to like different boarding schools, if that makes like sense. So um, let me start, should I start from my own or should you start from just one to just three, like when you're a junior? Like they want to Okay. But still, like I can, I don't like um. You gave your own history. Let me give my own history. So I went to two secondary schools. The first school was the one I and Olives went to, and I went to a different school, and then that's when I finished high school. Second school. Okay. So um, when I was nine years old, nine going on ten, I went to just one to just two, which is equivalent to grade seven to grade eight. And um, I went to a, a Navy secondary school, so like a military secondary school. And um, obviously, because it was military, like they taught us and they brought us up in like the military setting, the military way, like everything was military strict. Um, also, they were different. So you're a junior and you're a senior. So like there was that seniority aspect as well. So that's what we're going to tackle into. So, um, oh, hi, Valerie. Hi, how are you doing? 
So we're talking about um, <laughs> the soldier attention. <laughs> yeah. So um, feel free to add in your two cents, um, you, Valerie, as well. You can type right in how many secondary schools you went or if your secondary school was military or if it was not. So um, I think we should start from the major topic, bullying. bullying yeah. Um, so you, Michelle, you went to, you started going to boarding school from like when you were in primary school, like from when you were like seven. Yeah. So like. No, not seven, no. Oh, seven, what? eight, nine. No, I think I, I started junior school when I was like 11 or 12. So in primary three, I was probably like nine. Whoa, Valerie went to five different secondary schools. Interesting. You're gonna add like it Okay. So just tell us about how you faced bullying and how you think it impacted you today. Just you can give a story time or like anything you think. Oh, actually, when I I, I feel like I probably have like a lot of stories, but I remember everything. Mm -hmm. well, there's one that I remember like very, very clear. So when I was in um primary five. I had this close friend, her name was Amara. Hey, no names, no names. <laughs> so the story is not about her, just like they went through the same thing. Okay, like, okay. So there was this, actually, okay, there was this senior, and then um, we were in from five now, I think the senior was like in SS2. So every time after prep, she would tell us that we shouldn't go take a shower, we should actually, um, come and report ourselves to her room. So after prep, we have to come and report ourselves to her room. Like, even if she isn't there. And, like, usually, most seniors, they wouldn't come upstairs and they would stay downstairs. They like, and, uh, the school I always went to, the first boarding school was a mixed school with mixed people, boys and girls. And we all, the times. seniors, also from, like, SS1 to SS3, they would stay, uh, they would stay downstairs, like, after prep, probably, like, 10 minutes and they will interact with the boys before they come upstairs so we'll be in her room and we'll be like waiting for her and when she comes she tells us to do whatever like she can we wouldn't do we'll, we'll just be there like waiting we wouldn't, we wouldn't have done anything like you would or anything to the senior but like she tell us to do like jumping jazz she should kneel down raise up her hand just do like whatever and then um Another thing she also made us do, it was basically like as if she was forcing herself to be like our mom. If you take a shower, before your mom, did you say your mom? I said she was asking, acting like she was basically like our mom. Okay, okay. But like in a mean way, before we take a shower, we have to come to put ourselves to her room to make sure that like we are using this, using the right, so using the right point. After we take a shower, we have to put ourselves to her room. Like so many random things. There, like, but like the main issue about the whole thing was there was a time when the next day we had like a party like a primary school party because we're in primary school and this senior made us sleep under her bunk <coughs> till the next morning you and slept under her bunk like, till the next morning yes yes it wasn't like we did anything she just like made us do it and like she actually um it, Another thing, when when she tell us to report ourselves to her room after we take a shower, is that she should check our belly button, check like her ear, check our body to see if we wash it very well. And I remember back then, like I didn't know you were supposed to wash your belly button. Your belly button had like black kidney inside now. And now I suffered a bit in that school, man. Like I suffered plenty of it, but that was like from primary school. I don't want to touch on like secondary school. Holy sales. Okay, so. Um, so just one, just two now. I was nine, ten years old, and um, I can't really remember specific stories. Okay, I think I can remember some specific stories. So like we were in just one, and we had five classes ahead of us. So like we were like the bottom of the of the food chain. Literally, it was a food chain. You had just two seniors, just three seniors, and your just two seniors is as equivalent as your SS three seniors. So um. They would just punish us for no reason or in the morning, early in the morning when we wake up by like 5.30, they'll wake you up, punish you, tell you to go and fetch water for them. And we used to have this iron bucket. I don't know who invented iron bucket that go punish that person. Well, that bucket on its own is heavy. I swear. That bucket was heavy. And imagine me, guys, I'm small and I'm short. Then at that small nine years old, what, um water in that iron bucket and then more than one senior will send you and you cannot be late 
and um after that you still also have to go and fetch your water and have your shower before time for to leave the the what do you call it to leave the hostel and also um when you go get your water there was a specific time to have your shower and they will still take some seniors will still take water from you or the water will stop because we had this huge poor hole but for some reason there was never enough <laughs> true valerie we also fat there was never enough water i don't know why so um so that was like let me start the day so that was in the morning you start your day you're already crying because you're carrying heavy buckets and you're carrying heavy water then they now rush you to go to the dining hall and then in the dining hall we had like 30 minutes to eat <laughs> what yeah true valerie boarding school was trash we had 30 minutes to like finish eating your um your breakfast and we were all on tables of 12 and then we had someone that used to serve the food so then the seniors will come and then they used to take their precious time michelle can you hear me yeah okay because it's poor connection they will take so we had like 30 minutes or let's say 40 minutes and we could not eat till the seniors prayed but this Stupid people will take their precious time. They'll just be walking in front of in the dining hall, strolling, taking their time, and they'll just be chit chatting amongst them. So, oh wait, before that, in the morning, you had to iron clothes for seniors also, and you had to iron your own clothes. They move to breakfast. They'll be taking their time, and they all had to stay and wait, or like we all had to bow down our heads to wait for this prayer. Now, then after like ten, when it's like ten minutes to time, that's when they will now pray. Like, oh, they just make some prayer. Like, oh, bless this food we're about to eat. Oh, Lord, amen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Valerie, they forced us. It could be a mixture of boys and girls. But I think girls were on one side. Boys were on one side. I can't really remember, Valerie. So, uh, as I was saying, 10 minutes to the time. Or do not, please, who is meant, who can finish eating in 10 minutes? Do not, like, say, do not make the prayer. And then you have to eat really fast. And me, I'm now a slow eater again. You have to eat. <laughs> I swear, you have to eat really fat. Michelle, even Grace, do you remember? I was the slow eater too. Honestly, I remember. Well, it could be. Okay. They'll not even wait for the ten minutes to finish. They'll not start saying. Um, then they used to count a lot. Um, I can't remember how they used to count, but they'll be like, in the count of twenty, you have to finish eating your breakfast. So now I have to take the plates to the kitchen. So that was fine. They now have to rush out of the dining to the to the, what do you call it, to the parade ground, because I said it was a military school, to the parade ground. They will now do military devotion and assembly and we'll do a parade. Like, I can't remember the whole drill, but like, you did the whole salute. And um, there was this thing that they called them, um, I can't remember what it's called, but there's this thing that they had to ring the bell. It's a, an honor thing. They had to ring the bell every morning. <laughs> Valerie, you're laughing at me. Oh, I suffered. Oh, wait, Michelle is talking to someone. I'll just wait for her to be done. No, I'll try to make it I swear, Valerie, we had parade. Imagine going to Navy. We used to have parades all the time. Monday to Friday. Even Friday after school, we used to even have parades. Like, <laughs> as in. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Just a sec. So um we now have the parade. If you're late for the parade, or then even when you're late for the parade, a senior can decide just to be wicked and send you. If you're now late for the parade, the, the dining hall was very far to the parade ground. You now have to crawl on concrete. Did you ever crawl, Michelle? Valerie, did you yeah, ever they crawl? Did that thing. You know, back then we were in our grade. Mm -hmm. I think um, I, I forgot what it was, but like on Sundays, you're, on Sundays you're supposed to come down for like breakfast. For like, and even if you're not eating, I know sometimes I think on Sundays they make it compulsory that you have to come down for breakfast, even if you're not eating. So, and yeah. I think I don't know that was Ivy. I know it was Ivy or someone else where they forgot to come down <laughs> for like breakfast, and then when it was not time for church, or they I think everybody crawled. <laughs> yes, before. Valerie. Maybe like maybe like they forgot to um do their part of the church or something, mm -hmm. and. Um, we had like gravel on like the ground, like oh god, I remember uh, those gravels, uh, like, those um, yes, where yeah, and 
they now made us now new down and like new and like walk on the gravel and it was bad. I swear, like every time I used to this, the crime was like a normal thing. Like any I think they even fi- found torture in it. And even in, especially in the afternoon when the sun was hot. Oh my god, have you crawled on hot gravel in the afternoon? That's why my knees are black. I know gravel. That thing, that thing are probably like PSG or sneakers, gravel, man. I swear. Yeah, exactly, Valerie. They also, it's not be stuck on your skin. Like, then the seniors will just punish you for no reason. Or then, oh, there was this punishment. Oh, God, there were many punishments. There, were this, there was this punishment. Just, they'll tell you to go and... Um, collect this book from one senior. I can't remember what the book is called, but everybody... Yeah, well, I remember it told me, it was say what we are not to be named, but then you go to one senior, <laughs> then the senior, the senior would like realize that, oh, this is the game that this other senior is playing. And I said, oh, no, I don't have the book now. I'll go to this other senior now. Cool. But they never did it. They never did it in Grace, yeah. Oh. I heard a lot of stories from people about that thing. And most juniors do not know about that thing. So you actually legit think it's a proper book. They're not, and then they're like, so many seniors, they're like up to maybe 70 They'll now tell you, oh, go to this. And you're like, oh, yeah, that's true. I don't act so well. They'll be like, oh, yeah, that's true. I gave this book to this senior. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, go and take it. And then they'll send you around. So we had just one to just three hostel and SS1 to SS3 hostel. Like after school, we all used to run to enter into the hostel because at least, you know, if they're sending you within just one to just three hostel, it's just at least just one to just three but if they mistakenly send you to that SS3 hostel or that senior school hostel, I swear you're not coming back to this time for evening prep because they'll continue sending you, sending you, sending you when you go out, when you come back. Like the next person will send you, except if one senior is nice, I'm like, oh, okay, leave her, leave her. She's gone enough. I swear, <laughs> Valerie. Um, also, during lunchtime as well, please, why can't you come from your class to come and buy something for yourself they used to send us to buy like their own things for themselves and obviously you can't take the money and run away because like they will know you so the only way of survival basically in that school was if you knew a naval officer or if you had a school mother so let's even talk of school mothers um immediately- i actually had i had when i was in um well, do you have something to say before we thought that was oh, I just wanted to introduce what school mothers most in exchange you like give her some money or you give her like provisions or something like yeah, that. Sometimes it's not really necessary that I have to give them money. Sometimes they're just some seniors that like are just your school mothers that you probably just like and then they just help because I had like I had one school mother and I had one school mother that they can't actually just like together and never really do anything. But then they, that was only when if you were a pretty person or if you were cute. But if you're ugly like me, <laughs> you will not have any school mother that would do anything. <laughs> it's true. If you were not cute, you will not have any school mother that would do anything for you for free. Oh my god. So um wait, what are we gonna say about school mothers again? Oh Michelle, tell us your experience about school mothers. So um when the, what was I don't know exactly what class I had my first school mother, but I know when I was like in JS2, there was this senior i really want to say her name because she was really nice to me but we're not going to say me so okay this senior, well, i think you can uh, say if someone is nice i guess but it's when they are mean you don't want to mm-hmm. i don't know her son so her name was on ye mm-hmm. oh gosh she was so fucking she was so pretty man and she was my school mother i don't really remember how she actually became my school mother but i shall know like she really liked me when it was time for exams yeah because, like, obviously, who wants to read I start prepping to her? Like, because she will carry me to the ironing room. She will sit me there. She will tell me that I must finish reading, like, particular chapter, like, a certain amount of chapter. I'm not what will be there. We'll be she'll reading her own book. I'll be reading her own book. Sometimes I'll be, like, falling asleep. She'll slap my hand and she'll get off my head. She was actually very nice. I think there was even one time like this, I was, like, very, very sick. I know, like, um, it's only SS3s that like obviously they can't get away with like not going for bread. Mm-hmm. But like I was very very sick. And she made me like I stayed on her bed. She gave me her phone, and I was like, I was like, you know, privilege. Must be nice. Must be nice. And then when she came back, she came to ask me for a sleep. Okay, she made me something for me. Then she I actually pretty, I actually enjoyed. And then my other, then I had a school father. So always you know this person. 
No, 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 let's not say his name. Okay, yeah. his name. <laughs> but like, um, I think how it started was that I think me, she's so, I don't know if it was me, she's my oldest, but I know, well, you probably don't remember, but maybe it was me and someone, like, we wanted to go to talk shop. Like, in our school, we had a talk shop at the parking lot that I like, can buy things from. So, and I think it was like in the evening, and I wanted to buy something, but I think me and she, so we didn't have like enough money. She's one is one of our other friends, by the way. Yeah. So we didn't have like enough money now, and then we now decided that we will go and ask like um boys around the dining hall and see if anybody will give us money. So I was not I there. This, <laughs> my school father, I ran to like then obviously then I didn't know him now, so I just ran to him and I asked him that like we want to buy something that doesn't have any money on. They now like gave me um some certain amount of cash and then that was kind of how like the whole um so father still the relationship kind of started and then I was in just three. My mom my mom you actually even knew the guy like he actually used to take care of me to buy his stuff, we used to hang out for about random things and like even um if a guy if a guy is like let's say you know obviously boarding house gay girls they gossip about guys guys gossip about girls mm-hmm. he, used to, he used to dish me like all the cheese to me and he used to just dish everything yeah i remember uh, i remember it was actually like he used to dish me all the cheese he's telling me that oh this guy he's messing with this girl but he doesn't like this girl this and this and this he just dish me everything like when we go for a discussion he would buy me stores he buy me snacks he buy me different things i enjoyed him but at the same time also the fact that like I was close to this guy, I was, I was wait, wait, wait. Let me come. Let me come when I came into the school. Let me come when I came into the school. So, um, so, um, so I I did my school in like Nigeria Navy. It was brutal, guys. Like, I maybe I'll do a part two of this and I'll think properly of the things I went, but like I just threw it in the back of my mind. So, anyways, I've come from this brutal secondary school, right? To like this school this, this school was this school that me and michelle went so i don't mind saying the name is grace high school this is like the okay i don't know if i'm exaggerating but it's a really good secondary we, school we, we, no we actually really like the school like and olives we talked about the fact that like because when i was young although i was in the school i still used to think that oh um when i get married and i have children i actually you would send my children to, to that school and olives, and olives said the same thing because yeah. like even though we're bullied like it's still really really like it was school. really nice that school was amazing so i've come from this mean ass secondary school right to like this chill school where the team the i mean the seniors were still seniors but they were not as brutal as that and everything and i don't know how i made friends with michelle but we just became friends and like we just became like friends for life and we just were really close so now michelle is now friends or she's now the school daughter of this um guy and then um i mean he's he's nice but like i used to hang out with michelle a lot and then we used to hang out with you guys too i think so at some point yeah, so obviously he knew you and also knew Chisholm. It's not, I don't know if it was because of Misha, but I know Chisholm, Chisholm became his brother's school daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chisholm, yeah, yeah. became his brother's school daughter too. But continue. Okay, um, so now, and I came to this school, met Michelle. I just met this amazing lifestyle, like... Met and then we used to sneak in our phones. I just met people that were sneaking in their phones, and then these people used to always travel abroad. Then I had never traveled abroad in my <laughs> I never traveled abroad in my life. So me coming, seeing people travel abroad, seeing phones, being introduced to stuff, like it was just a maze balls. But then um I didn't really have any senior that picked a particular bone with me. So the seniors used to beef us just three girls. The SS3 seniors used to beat us just three girls because their boys liked us. Yeah, let's talk about that rivalry thing. Yeah, like yeah, that was actually what I wanted to that was what I wanted to talk okay, about. Okay, okay, like, talk about so on that like this bullying um topic because like this SS3 and the funny thing was that this guy that is my dad um, was my school dad, he was the head boy. Yeah, he was also, also why they call that thing um he was also the hostel prefect, the boy hostel prefect. So he had like two main like positions, two main positions in the school head boy and yes. um, so, um but in house prefects for boys. And like everybody knew him now because obviously you're the head boy very, very and he was he was quite attractive to an extent. So like some yeah, girls liked was, him. 
and he was nice. He was yeah, he was so nice. And I don't know if it was because of the fact that like my because obviously I'm close to him, so only became like he spoke to him also. Some also spoke to him. I like it wasn't just him because the fact that he was friendly, he introduced me and like my two friends, just from my only to his friends. So mostly all the time, like, yeah, we always friends. now hang out, we hang out with his friends. Time. We hang out with his friends. We just talk, we just laugh, and it was just chill. There was nothing really like going yeah. exactly. There was nothing really well, even like, going no. on. That was the funny well, thing. Like, but like the seniors, the girl, the SS3 girls, and now like I don't know, they carried it on their head and everything. I know I used to get booed, I used to get slapped, I used to get booed just for absolutely nothing. Like, yeah, I wouldn't do anything. Like I want girls, even one time, like I came back from prep, and um, prep finishes at like ten. Wait, prep finishes are like nine, and I think we have like an hour. Before lights out, lights out is when they turn off the lights in our room. That's and you have to go to bed. I think lights out was 10, 10 or 10 30. And it was lights out. I was already on my bed. I already showered. And then that was when I heard that the senior was looking for me. And I was so confused that like, I didn't do anything. After bed, I just showered. I came to my bed. I didn't do anything. So I was like, whatever. So I went to the room. And then that's when I just entered. I just did slap. And then I just. Is it that stupid so, senior? I can't hear you text. Okay, I'll text you. But I, like, I just received slap and then I just fell on the ground. Are you serious? No way. I never, I never used to do anything. And then Michelle was now pretty as well. Like, you know, Michelle was like light skin or she's mixed. So, like, she was like the only mixed person serving her. And then, and now, school. And my hair was not like so fucking long. And now we had like really long. Hair. Yeah, and Michelle was, was jealousy. I, don't know I think it was jealousy, honestly. It was honest. Think of it was jealousy. Because the only thing I could think of was. Fact that like I was friends with this senior like the Valerie, head boy, so far and there. I was like you could even you could you could even say that me and the head boy were best friends. You could actually say it like that because he talked about like every and anything, yeah. and that was the only thing. Because like I never used to be rude to senior. I was always on my own. Wait, really? Michelle, like, are you she, sure? She was like obviously my friend. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not. It's only when I was treated bad that I would be rude. But like yeah. when I'm just on my own, I didn't do anything. Someone would just come me, kneel down, or just slap me for nothing. Like I, obviously, the only thing I could think of was the fact that like I was friends with their classmate, which was a popular boy. That was the only thing I could think of. Maybe that was why they were jealous. Maybe they all wanted to date the guy. Man, I don't know for them. Yeah, probably they were just jealous, and I think they were. But also remember like um also there were also some other guys as well that really liked people in our set because i don't know it was our set girls were just chill or like i don't know what it was or even how they became close but like there's three boys just three boys and i said three boys just used to like hang out a lot and it was just it was just a vibe um i don't know if we should talk about the good things about boarding school or should we make that as a part two what do you think? We can probably do that as a part two. Okay, we'll do all that good, the good things about as a part two. So, um, my own experience in that school, yeah, I came and I met Michelle now, and I came and I went to go and join her, and then they now hated me too because of that. Also, like, I think I was quite annoying too in secondary school. Oh, wait, I, 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 actually, I actually have a story that concerns me and Oli, but why the seniors beat me up? Tell the stories, like, okay? So why do I anger us was because of only so like you know um in high school people have um there's like food and nutrition which is like a course that people cook most people do is like cook and then all the person is cooking mostly it's mostly like the seniors be like um but in house people that are there so they carry their food in the hostel. I remember that story. So like this particular senior told only it's like I wasn't there with the senior told it was after so the all the stuff laughing so the senior told only that. Only she got put her pot of stew in the fridge. So, <laughs> That's not what I heard. Only, <laughs> only she got to come up with it. There were like one, two, there, there were three rooms in the hostel. So the first two rooms, the um first and the third room are the rooms that is mixed with everybody. And then the third room, sometimes there is only GS3s that there's sometimes only SS3s that they put in there. Or sometimes it's... Um, a senior that is going to be the head of the room and then juniors 
So I think only stayed in um the third room or something, or she was in the third room with her other friends. She was just very chilly, and I just told her, "Oh God, carry this still in the apple in the fridge." Always my friends come and call me from the first room. I just told them that, "Ah, that is not to that. That this still she doesn't want to see. She straight the way or that she thinks that this still is." Always was saying that she doesn't know why this still or tell her to straight away. This that this still has like. Plenty, plenty chicken. It still smells really nice. That me, do I want to talk about her eating and enjoying herself? I was like, ah, because of the smell, so I don't want to eat this thing. Let's enjoy ourselves. Because I'm actually crying. I don't know. You started eating the meat because it was hard. This is too much. Oh, there's. There's something like this. I don't know whether it's the fire alarm, but like, so I always were there eating the sun. I was thinking, mm-hmm. I was saying, oh, is that very, very sure that this is what the said? Because this doesn't taste bad or anything. That is still nice. She was like, yes, and that is what the smell said. This was so good. She was just so weak. We ate, there was plenty of things in that We ate that <laughs> So I think it was not like about... They, I think they rang the bell that it was time for dinner or something. And then people started coming out. That's when the senior saw me and Olive's there. And she was confused. Out, like, what is going on? So she went to call her friends. That Look at this girl. I told the girl to keep my stay in the fridge. She went to go and like... They punished her. Like, <laughs> I was like, Maddie. I was like, hey, punish her. It's only the punish. I was like, I did not know that. Oh, wait, no, they were punishing you. Then they now left you after you said you did not know. Mm. I was like, no, I didn't know anything. You know, so they not only just punish. They not like started beating and punishing people. I found I was sitting for you, but me, I want my house and I just went downstairs for my dinner. Oh my god, I can't remember what they did, but I swear, imagine you cooking like food and the food is so good, and then you're not even used to eating like homemade food, and you finally got to like cook homemade food and then some stupid ass junior now decided to eat it <laughs> i think they made me stay under the bunk they made me lay under the bunk yeah, i know they were beating you because it was next to the doors being close to the toilet i know they were beating you they made me do like, frog so jumps yeah, and then <laughs> And if you know me, I'm very resilient. Like things don't affect me. So when they were doing all those things, like I, it wasn't even phasing me. Like I was just like boning my face. I know if you're beating someone, um, and the person is not crying or anything, you'd be like, why is this thing not paining the person? So like that was even tricking them more. And then they continued beating me or something, and like I was still boning my face or something. But <laughs> I think what else? They made me frog jump. They made me stay under the bunk. I slept under the... I think I haven't slept under the bunk to like around maybe 11 or 12 or very late. Then they were not like, oh, okay, okay. Let's pity her. Let her go. <laughs> what else did they do? I think they even made... Oh, there was this punishment called hanging on the wall. So literally, you see how flat this wall... I mean, this is not a wall, but this is a curtain. But imagine if it's a wall. Like I had to lay flat on it. I wish I could show you guys, but obviously I can't show you. Um... What punish did they not punish me that day? Oh my days. Like I swear, Valerie. Oh, the punishment I hated was pick pin. Oh, pick pin. Oh god, Valerie. I swear that day I died. And I was like, never, <laughs> never, never again. Um th- did you have this punishment? They'll draw a car and they'll tell you to like push the car. Yeah, they'll tell you move the car. They'll mm-hmm. draw a car, then they'll draw the filling station. Mm-hmm. They'll not say move the car to the filling station. But do you think that do you think somebody can actually move that? I'll car? show you. I'll send you a video, Valerie, and um, I'll show, I'll make a video. I send you a Snapchat, Valerie. It's not possible now because it's a drawing. How can they make you move a drawing of a car? Honestly, seniors were really brutal, eh, guys. But thing is, when I was when I even became a senior, I was not even wicked. That's the thing, like guys, you shouldn't. Yeah, be... I never punished people because I was like, what's the point? Yeah, like what's the point of like being this and that? But um, I don't know. Um, everybody. And I, I never really sent anybody to do my thing. I always did my thing, wash my dishes, wash everything. Exactly, because come to think of it, like except maybe sometimes you're really busy, then you can send a junior. But like sending a a, a junior just for no reason, like it didn't even make any sense. It was just like um. <laughs> Valerie said she was wicked. <laughs> she was just um it was it didn't just make any sense. Maybe we should leave some time for Valerie to type the kind of punishments she had in her school. What do you think, Valerie? Do you want to type some this thing or some punishments that you gave some juniors? We'll just wait while you type it. Oh my god, I can't believe I laughed so much. <laughs> mm. Valerie, yeah, we'll wait for you. <laughs> uh.
Oh. <laughs> oh. No. My main punishment was wait. wow, Michelle. Look what Valerie said in the comments. Look what punishment was also. Wow, but <laughs> the one I hated was that, like, you know, um, seniors we had you could make indomie now with hot water, so mm, yeah, God, and the seniors we had they're so disgusting because people who eat their indomie don't now leave the plate, yeah, they'll be like, like, Let me eat the plate weeks, after you, weeks, two weeks before then, after the two weeks, when the plate there's now more than disgusting, the plate is now then they'll not give you to come and watch. Yeah, that that was true. Oh yeah, so we're next time we're talking about the food and the font size of boarding school, right? Oh yeah, I was going to mention something about like the cooking. Valerie said, um, yes, Valerie, it was so disgusting. Oh my god, there was this one. So how do you used to celebrate birthdays in secondary school? I remember when they did to me. It was I don't know if I should mention the person's name, but she was also our friend that did this thing to me. Let me let me mention her name. So how they used to celebrate birthdays in boarding school, they used to beat you for like, your friends would beat you as a joke and they'll pour you water. That thing never happened to me because every time it was my birthday, they yeah. had meeting. Yeah, they'll pour water on you, Valerie. So nobody used to tell people their birthdays, but like if you mistakenly or if people mistakenly know your birthday, they'll pour water on you. This, this even happened in my old school as well. And we had, and we had, this, we had like two dispensers in our school. And like under the dispenser was like this bucket where we used to pour, you know, like this. the dispenser had like oh. um this thing that like water is in. So we had to pour the water into that bucket. And when the bucket is full, throw it in. Yes. And, and the, the water, obviously the water stays there for like a while and it sounds looking very disgusting. disgusting. Very like what like gutter water. Exactly, like gutter water. Like, <laughs> water. Like, water. <laughs> you do not pour someone on their very disgusting. I remember on my own, they put sardine. And that person that told you, because like she used to have fancy, fancy food, she put sardine, she put, I can't remember, maybe cereal, milk inside this bottle and covered it. When I was bathing in the shower, she now came and poured it on me. Like, I, I, I swear. Yeah, I actually, I used to be happy because, like, right from primary school, when every, it was like, when it was my birthday, it was the week of meeting. So that never, ever, ever happened to me. Or, like, when it was my birthday, maybe, like, today's the day, and then today's the day we are going home for meeting. So ne nothing ever used to happen to me. I used to thank oh, God. My birthday was always during school term. Like, they poured me so many disgusting things. Like, oh my God, it was, it was so gross. I swear, Valerie, it was serious. Then they will now beat you, pour water. And then there's this guy as well. Let me let me mention his name. He was just so brutal for no reason. Like he would just he didn't be, he won't beat you girls, but like he'll beat his boys. I remember they did it for one of my crush. Oh, okay, I remember him. Yeah, I remember they did it for one of my crush. I was not feeling bad for him. They beat him, they punished, not punished him, they beat him, they poured him water, they poured him. Isn't it powder or something? They should make your uniform very dirty that day, Sha. Like, oh my god, boarding school was an experience, guys. This one, I think it falls under the fun part of boarding school. I don't know if that forms falls under the bad part, Sha. But good and good and bad, one of them. Then, um, what else was the bad part of boarding school? The stealing, yeah. Especially when I was in my very first secondary school, like. <laughs> I feel like I never really lost. Obviously, like everybody always, they always stole some from everybody. But I feel like I never lost this compared to my brother. Like my brother would carry so many things, and then by the time when they by midterm, six like, weeks later, uh, for like for like um midterm or like for the end of the term, my brother would not have anything. All his clothes would have disappeared. I, I know there was even one person. I, I don't know that it was true or whether I know there was even somebody else. They stole all the person's pants. <laughs> I swear they were still. Guys, why are they still on that way? I don't know. <laughs> they will steal your bra. They will steal your pants. Especially by first school. And then the worry. The thing I really like about Britos is the fact that, like, in the girl, I don't know if they had this in boys or something. In girls, there was, like, a room. <laughs> yeah, I remember that room. It's not the box really, room. Like, uniform. It's not the box room. There's another room. No box room. There was a room next to With... the seniors' bathroom that had like uniform. Oh yeah, I remember that room. That corner. House where like it was a room that was just like with a <laughs> I... group of like uniform. So if somebody stole your uniform, somebody stole your house. You just go there, take one there. So exactly, you take another person's one there and wear house where. <laughs> But in my old school as well, like if they steal it, they steal it because the school is so large. In a set, we're like 160 something in just one. 
So if someone steals your thing, like where are you going to actually start looking for it? And sometimes not when your person person in your class that still steals it, it might be your senior um senior like in just two or just three that steals your clothes by midterm, like half of your things are gone. My well, friend, you never know, man. You never know who stole you never know. My friend, they still have provisions the first night. <laughs> They jacked, or that's when they call jacked a locker. <laughs> they will jack your locker, and they still have provisions the first night. Like there was this sen- oh, there was this senior as well. We I can't remember her name, but she was fair as well. They just they knew that senior as a thief. They knew her like this senior used to steal things. Like she was that popular that everybody knows, and she now denied like no, I didn't steal it. Like what do you mean? My parents brought me this. My parents are always bringing me this, this, da 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 da. She- Oh, how I know, like, um, I don't know, I don't know who was the person that told me this story, but like, somebody told me that when they were in high school, no, blossom, um, they were like, three, like three friends, mm-hmm. um, three girls, and each of them, what they used to do is that, like, they used to, it's like, me yeah, we used to do inspection now. as well on we'll Saturday. Each, we'll each, we'll each have our provisions, but then how we used to do it is that three of us will eat someone, how they, like, the person that was explaining to me was that, like, they will, Three of them, they'll eat so much provision first, then they'll. It's like as if every three of them. I did like, that like thing for someone. To you, um, your provision belongs to me. So the girl not told me that like they finished one person's provision or they finished the second person's provision. Then for them to go to the third person's provision, the person has said, "Hey, which kind? Now my provision is just a provision. I'm not sure." That someone did that to me as well. It was just me and this girl. I never forget this stupid girl. She did it to me as well. I won't forget about that. She was like, yeah, we can share provisions and oh, and me, me being the mumu that I am now, when I started from my own provision first, and then I, <laughs> and I think it finished or almost finished. And I was like, I'm not sure her name, I don't care. I was like, treasure, let's share your own now. And then she started giving me attitude, started forming back for me. And I, like, I feel like it was probably you that told me this story. Oh, was it me? Okay, okay yeah, then. Um, <laughs> I swear, say doing fake so now I was so confused, and that kind of thing like you can't report to the house mistress because if you report to the house mistress, that's gonna be like, eh, is your loss? Like, what would the house mistress do? You can't report to a senior, like, it was honestly like it was just honestly a confusing time as well. And that girl, when something like if she needs um something, she can beg you, do baby face, this one, this one, or yeah, if she needed provisions before her parents came for her. She can do pe- she can do baby There's face everything. Thing that I just remembered, Olive. You know, like um back then in Greece, our headmistress she um like oh she never really used to keep her money. It was a headmistress that used to keep her money. Ah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I remember. <laughs> <laughs> And like let's say you should take hundred naira, you take hundred naira, then you write it down hundred naira. Then mm. later on in the day, she will deduct the hundred naira mm. from how much she has. That one is still our money. I don't care. care. And then let's say you collect hundred naira like five times, which is obviously five hundred naira. Then she not take that your money you miss that naira. Exactly, be like you be like. I swear, because my dad used to give this man a lot of money to keep for me. All of a sudden, this man say, "Always, your money has finished." Though I'm just like, please, how does my money finish? Because I know I didn't spend up to that that one is actually <laughs> that one is actually still our money oh god we have stories for days about our house mistress oh, that woman mm. um what's the time now so we're gonna be finishing in like 10 minutes because michelle has to go somewhere we also used to do inspection yeah i like saturday inspections because girls used to go to boys hostel and boys used to come to but it girls. wasn't like all of us it's mostly like just one senior yeah, they used to choose yeah, like everybody every fire, different yeah, Saturday. Yeah. But I don't think I ever went to... No, I went. Because the house, I remember that house master, he kind of liked me. He now made me go one time. I think I saw my crush's bed. I was just... I was feeling like a funky idiot. So they make you um go to each other's hostels. Then you inspect their bed. You have to write your name on the bunk. And I think you check... Did they check their lockers? I think they checked their lockers. I'm not I don't know. I think so. Bad. Yeah, you check their lockers. You check their bed. And... um. What else? Yeah, that was it. In my other first secondary school as well, we used to do inspection and it was on the parade ground. We used to do inspection and you're not neat. Hey, guys, do flog you. Eh? <laughs> Look, <laughs> Valerie said her guidance counselor. Um, 
my last secondary school, so after just, after, so we stayed just three to SS1. I think just three was the best time of our lives, I swear. Even remember, um, what do you call that thing? Extension. Oh, extension was amazing. Oh, extension. Oh. Hey, when I was in SS3, in my other school, when I was in SS3, our extension was bad. Really? Because there was rust infestation. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days, yeah, really. Was like, we never used to sleep. We'll always be waking up, be shouting. Because I'm mean, also like just regular rat. The rats was able to climb on the We used to call these rats in my place and cut the rats. And um, what was I even saying? So yeah, the street extension was amazing. We'll talk about in the part two, like the good sides of um hostel. Then SS1 too was SS1 was a breeze. I can't I don't think I can really remember SS1, but like Oh, I can remember SS1. SS1 was fun. It was just bare fun. I remember. Then we are by SS2 and SS3 now. Guess what? We now had to leave the school because that house mistress reported us to our parents. I was just saying rubbish. Yeah, like she, she was probably the woman because now mm. my mom told me why she took me out of the school because like um I was spoiled and I was so cool exactly. She be telling her parents like, oh, that was a very I hated that school. That school was a very corrupt school and I, I it was like worse than the school, yeah. Every single time she would be telling someone someone's parents, oh, your child have joined gang, gang. Joined bad you have joined bad gang. gang. That was her phrase. You have joined bad gang and. Then because I became close to Michelle now, and then Michelle was close to the boy, the head boy. So she now thought, oh, because they're always talking together, so like something's going, but nothing was going on. And then me and I became friends with Michelle. So she was now telling my dad that, oh, Olis has started thinking of joining, getting boyfriend, or this one, this one. Olis has joined boy bad gang. She's always hanging out with Michelle to the extent that my mom used to call Michelle Michelle. Yeah, she's like, okay, what well, about you today? <laughs> My mom used to say, Oh, you used to talk to that your Michelle Lea friend. Like everybody in my house knows Michelle, but have they met? I, I don't think my dad has met you. Have they met her? No, but because of that crazy house mistress, she just spoiled it. So we now had to move, or they now had to change our schools and to SS2 and SS3. Then when I went to SS2, um, in my last school, um, SS2 was the highest class in that hostel. Because it was, so it was just one to just three in that hostel, SS1 to SS2 and SS3. So when I went there, I was in SS2 now. So like I was the highest. So it was just very, very chill. I didn't have any seniority issue. It maybe was only during in the school. It's So basically our school, my school was Caleb International School and it was in Magodo Estate. And um, the school was separate. And then the hostels were separate, separated around the estate. So the bus used to carry us to school. So we can always like, so if a senior tries to do anything to you, like as my SS2, if an SS3 senior tries to tell you something, you just be like, no, I don't want to do it. And then she can't punish you in school because they are teachers and she can't punish you in the hostel because she's not in the same hostel. So like as SS2s, we used to basically get away with stuff. We we're not rude, but like you could just get away with stuff and like nobody could send you or do you anything. I didn't really like that school though because it was much more worse than the, than Grace. And I really loved Grace. So I was even angry when I was in the school. But I met one really good... I know. I was so fucking... I was actually really angry when I entered a second school. So yeah. I hated, I hated that school. Time, like, was, um, after we went SST, we had to write, like, um, an essay of, like, what we like about the school. <laughs> see the essay I wrote? Like, the essay I wrote was that I hate everybody in school. I hate the principal. I hate everybody. <laughs> and the funny thing was that the principal now actually read the essay. Shit. Are you serious? No. Um, what else? I yeah, I really did not like the school. And then when it was time, and then the school was a Christian school. It used to club international college. It used to pretend like it was a Christian school, but the people in that school were very bad, like so, so, so corrupt. There was this place that people used to th- go and make out. What's that place called? Is it Dollar Hall or something like that? I can't remember. The outside, everybody would think Caleb is all right. Go inside that school. That school was bad. So when it was devotion can last. As, no, not devotion. Morning assembly can last up to one hour. They were making us learn memory verse. This one, I'm a Christian. I love God and everything. But this one was just deep. They make us learn memory verse. This one verse, verse of the week, affirmation. It's like, come on. So what we used to do is like, and and my, the other people in our, the seniors, we will not enter the bus when the bus comes to take us from our hostel to the school. So we will not enter it. The, the health mistress, house mistress will be shouting us, you guys should enter now, enter. And she was very soft as well. So we used to take advantage of her. Yeah. Hey, uh, anyways. Um, we take advantage of her, we'll not enter the bus, making noise, she'll be reporting us, but there's nothing really they can do because 
it has, it has to be us that enter the bus to go to the school. I think they, it got to a point. They now reported us to the headmaster or something. They now reported us to the headmaster and um, what do you call it? And then he now had to come to he now had to come to the to hostel to talk to us. But I remember in our hostel, this guy Joseph Benjamin used to. We now found out that Joseph Benjamin used to be in that hostel. So and he used to jog every morning. Not in the hostel, sorry, in the estate. He's, he now used to jog every morning. So we used to wait every morning for when he's jogging. And I'm like, Joseph Benjamin, Joseph Benjamin, oh my God. And then he was really fine now. We're like, and we're like 15 year old. So like he was like the biggest crush on crush ever. And he used to film Tim Cell in that estate too as well. Oh, <laughs> yeah. This is the film Tim Cell too in that estate. So honestly, that was like the bad side of like boarding school. Let's just round this up because Michelle has to go. So, like, I'll say the bad side of boarding school was just um, bullying, theft. What else? What can I say? Seniority. Seniority. It was just that. But in retrospective, do you think you would send your kids back to boarding school, Michelle? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I, I feel, feel like, like it probably helps with... Uh... What's the word? Indi- um, being independent. Yes, yeah, yeah. Definitely helps with being independent. Because then, like, I, I learned how to, like, wash my own clothes, like, try to manage own, my positions. Sweet. And, like, I felt, I felt like you could probably... Obviously, I'm not really learning how to save, but you learn how to minimize spending, like, your... um. Alarms. Wait, Michelle, I remember something. You said to minimize it. You don't know, used to minimize it. Every day, you used to go to talk shop. <laughs> you used to go to your advice, Cola. That's what I'm saying. That, like, it helps. <laughs> Obviously, when you're alone, when you're alone for the first time, you obviously spend and spend. But, mm. like, I feel like being in boarding house probably helps me now that, like, I'm obviously, I don't have any family here. Yeah, it has definitely built my resilience and, like, to stay alone and, um, just honestly, like, and it was fun as well, guys. It's just fun, like, just we're going to talk about the fun aspect. Yeah. Also, you have to follow some rules, but like, being in the house is kind of like as if you're on your own, you don't really have your parents there. Yeah, exactly. Just like living with your friends, and like, just living with your friends. Obviously, you're going to school, but like, just like living with your friends it was honestly the like, house was fun. It was really fun. It was one of the most amazing times of my especially the school me and Michelle went to like like Yeah, and if, if they said that like if you if you could go back, I would actually go back to like finishing my my high school, school, school grades there, instead yeah. Instead of like changing schools. schools yeah. Because like every day in that school was like something. Even mm-hmm. even without being in the hostel, just like being in class with like with, the fr- with our guys and our something or something stupid will always, always happen. happen. I swear. We'll talk about that in our next video, guys. It was amazing. So um yeah, definitely. Now obviously I don't know where I'm I'm, I'm gonna settle, so I can't say, but definitely if I was in Nigeria, I'll definitely yeah, send my if I'm going to like build my family in Nigeria, mm-hmm. I'll send my children to that school. Oh, oh, I think we should have mentioned this in the beginning, but like boarding school in Nigeria or in Africa is totally different to boarding school abroad. So abroad is for rich people and you send them to be posh and everything. But in Nigeria, it was almost everybody went to boarding school. It wasn't expensive. Yeah, because there's even there's like um, public schools that are probably boarding Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, Nigerian like, Navy was a boarding school. It's Queen's College. Queen's College was um Yeah, it's a public school. school. Even Navy too. It's kind of like a public school, to be honest. Yeah. And um, yeah, guys, that was it. Um get rid of and exactly Valerie said it's a get rid of your kids scheme. Honestly, it's imagine it if it keeps your it kids. Actually is because I was in primary three. I was in primary <laughs> three when my parents and my brother was in primary one. My parents sent us to boarding school. school. Exactly. It's actually a get reading of your kids' skin. Put them. Get reading of your school. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> you said get reading of your kids' skin. Well, guys, you get you get what I'm trying to say here. Yeah. And um, what else? Just drop them there. Just see them on visiting. Oh, and our visiting days was every two weeks. In other schools, it was yeah, every, every month. Two weeks, um, Saturday or Sunday. Yeah. Oh, I used to love those days. My dad used to come. Then there was this other friend that she, her parents used to come and just bring her loads of food and she just used to share. Yeah, KFC, Mr. Biggs. 
Yeah, it wasn't just her. It was her and her two sisters. They yeah, her and two sisters. Their family will bring them so many places that they can be you'll be sharing with like almost everybody yeah oh we used to even go on excursion in that school we used to go to the movies we used to go to the cinemas oh god we used to have fun in the bus oh my god guys we'll talk about yeah. that in the next video <laughs> we'll talk about that grace, grace was grace was grace was a really good school. that school was a really was a good really school good. grace high school my sister told me they have a swimming they have like a swimming pool around the high school place or something she just told me that they renovated like the a same. lot of so honestly i i would definitely recommend grace high school like for any and everybody like honestly that school was amazing and um all in all boarding school is an experience i feel like everybody should at least experience boarding school for a year even if just to like see the stories we're telling how michelle were telling stories that were laughing even when they beat me they punished me but like how we're still laughing but, like, in the moment obviously you wouldn't be funny but like after a year or two when you're done in high school you think about stuff that you went and it's just so stupid. yeah exactly even though it seemed like it was prison like how valeria has said now but in the long run guys it will definitely build your resilience it's fun you i feel like you definitely make more friends in boarding school and Honestly, if you guys stick together, like how Michelle have, and I have stuck together, like you got actually have friends for life. So anyways, guys, stalking on life, that actually brings me to the end of this life. <laughs> word play, word, word. <laughs> Don't leave me. <laughs> but anyways, um, thank you guys for tuning in. Valerie, thank you so much for your comments and I will see you guys in my next video. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm going to make my next life to be, but I'm going to give a premiere. But definitely expect the part two of this, um, part two of my boarding school experience in Nigeria because it was definitely fun and, like, it was it was amazing. I'm going to tell you guys stories and, like, the nice things of boarding school. Until next time, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Valerie. Do you want to say bye? I'll wait till Valerie says bye. If I end. So you have ended it? No, I've not ended it. I'm waiting for Valerie to say bye. Oh, okay, she has said it. Okay, she has said it. Okay, bye. I'll call you right now, so Valerie or something. Thank you, guys. Tune in for next time. Bye. Yes, and the stream. Is that the girl that